Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. This video is so basic, but so important. I need to make this because so many people mess this up. I'm talking about making sure that your e-com store doesn't have any design errors. What do I mean by this? Okay, so your website, your e-com store is your storefront on the internet. It is so important that your store is professional and it builds trust. If you're gonna get people to put in their credit card, onto your store and buy things. If your store has design problems, for example, if it doesn't work properly on mobile, then it's gonna be so much harder to build that trust with your customers and get the sale. A poorly designed site just tanks your conversion rate. And I always say that you should build your website for conversions, not for an art gallery. What I mean here is that it doesn't need to be the most beautiful website in the world. But if you have a website that doesn't look professional because it has a lot of obvious design mistakes, then it's definitely going to have a bad impact on your conversion rate. And that's the long and short of it. So here are my tips. One, first, make sure that your website is responsive and mobile friendly. Check your website on all devices. Actually open up your phone and go through the website in Safari or whatever browser you're using on your phone. You can also use Google's page developer tools to check your website on mobile and desktop. I'll leave a link down below to a video that I made on this topic showing you how to do it for your own e-commerce store. If you can, I recommend actually getting your designer to make a version of your store for mobile only. I've worked with a few different clients that have done this and it's been incredibly successful. Their conversion rates on mobile increased significantly. This had a huge impact on the conversion rates for that store because mobile users had their own unique version of the site that was made for them. It had bigger buttons, bigger text, and it was laid out in a much nicer way that worked better for mobile. The next thing is to make sure that all your links work. Check all the links on every single page and make sure that you don't have any that go to a 404 error page. There are also some other tools that you can use to check your whole site for any errors. I'll leave a link down below to one of those tools. The next thing is to check that your website is easy to navigate. I always say, make sure your website is so easy to use that people don't even have to think when they use it. And this is my biggest piece of advice and it's so, so valuable for designing any sort of website. One of my favorite books is called Don't Make Me Think by Steve Krug. It goes over this in great detail in a way that's very easy to understand. I'll leave a link to his book down below on Amazon. Fantastic book. I read it years and years ago and it totally changed how I built my websites. The idea that as soon as you make it hard for a user to use your website at all, you lose them. People go to the internet, they don't wanna to have to think and try and work out how to use a website. They just wanna flow through seamlessly. That's why you shouldn't try to create some weird menu navigation that requires someone to use an instruction manual to find out, okay, what do I click to open it up and then select what menu item? No, keep it simple. That's why so many websites these days all look very simple because that's what people are used to. And if you try and break the mold too much in terms of usability, your conversion rate is just gonna drop. So make sure that the whole process of purchasing from you is so smooth and seamless that someone could do it while they're half asleep. Basically, if they were drunk, can they use your website and buy your products? The next thing I'd say is make sure your images are high quality. This goes hand in hand with the design. If I see a store that has low quality images, they're blurry, they're not cropped properly, they look like they're just copy and pasted from the supplier, it destroys so much trust that I have in that brand. It's so obvious, it's not just to me, it's to all the people that I know. It stands out and says, I'm a low budget store, I'm not investing in my brand, in my products, and the image that I'm trying to create on the internet. So don't just throw up stock images either. Make sure that you put time into crafting your website so it really speaks to your customers and looks professional. And that leads into my last point, which is make sure that you have strong branding that works. What I mean here is that make sure that you choose the colors that work well together and use them across your entire site. A good brand is gonna have a clear personality, a brand voice that resonates with their customers. Every single brand has one, whether you like it or not. But if you put time into crafting your own personality, your own brand voice that speaks to your customers, that's gonna have a huge impact on your conversion rate. Not only that, but your design and your branding colors reflect that personality. There's a whole lot to get into here about the psychology of branding and building that relationship with your customers. But to start off with, I recommend just having a simple Google Doc, some sort of document that outlines your brand fonts, your brand colors, and a bit about your brand inspiration. 
This allows you to easily work with designers and communicate what you're going for with your brand and keep that consistent across your whole site and all your marketing. Few stores do this except for those that are established and have built up a strong brand already. But man, this really lays their foundation for scaling a great e-commerce store. Yes, it's one of those side things a lot of people put on the side and think they're gonna do one day. But man, once you get that brand voice throughout all your content, all your website, your ads, the customers resonate with that. They look at that and they can build that connection. That's it for this video, guys. I hope that was helpful. If it was, leave a comment, let me know with a like button and consider checking out my other videos and learn more about growing your e-commerce store with practical advice. This video that you're watching right now is actually part of a free course my team and I created called Product Page Mastery, where we help you guys build product pages that convert at high rates. It's 100% free. I'll leave a link down below. You can go sign up. It's all free content. Go check it out. And I'm sure that it's going to really help you build better product pages for your store, drive more sales and make more profits. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.